Alright, so this is game hack for Dark Souls. We're going to explain to you how to do a faith build today. Uh, this might be a somewhat long video because I'm going to record it verbatim out of the game. And there's going to be no editing happening, so yes, I'm just going to go go with it and the dark make something crazy. The undead. Uh, we're going to basically be heading for Ann Orlando. The, this, this is going to be the initial steps to get to the first... This will be the initial steps to get to the, the first uh, two, two bells, and, and then through uh, Sen's fortress. Where they are locked away to await the end of the... Anyway, our character is a cleric. We took the master key as our item. Fast roll. First things first, I always like to stay, keep my equip burden at, at the, its lowest point. And that way I can um, always fast roll and run a lot faster. Alright, let me fix that mic there, so we're not picking up so much background. I'm not even going to worry about the bonfire yet, so I'm just going to do the first major circle in the game here, which is running through, because uh, unless you pick the black firebomb as your starting gift, you're really not going to be able to beat this guy here. I've seen people do it with just fists, but nah, not my thing. <laughs> There's another bonfire there, I'm not too worried about it. You get the east-west shield as this guy, which is going to be very soon replaced, because it sucks. So you get the mace, and you can fast roll nice. I'm just going to try to get through these areas as quickly as possible while uh, maintaining maximum souls. So we sort of... I know, but I'm going down here anyway. This is when I activate the bonfire. So I only have to really activate one bonfire here. I, I have this area pretty, pretty well set up to, to speed run really easily. But this is more or less the tutorial area of the game, just to give players an idea how the game works um, once you get pretty good at it. Walk, walk right through. I forgot my Estus Blast. It's, it's sort of important. Ah, come on. Die. You can talk to him. He explains some shit. And he drops the Estus Blast in the Undead Asylum key. He'll kill himself. Uh, and uh, I think it was updated, so he actually kills himself. You'll hear him die as you walk away. Get my canvas. canvas talisman, which is actually a very good item for... This is why you pick the uh, cleric if you're going to do a faith build. It's also a good idea to par parry your enemies. And... Uh, kill them that way, because they'll actually give you or backstab because if you do what's called overkill, if you do about 150% of the damage to the enemy, they will give you more than the normal amount of souls. I think they give you 150% of what they would normally get, or 125% or something like that. Although the uh, mace's criticals are pretty abysmal. Okay. Drop on this asshole and take about a third of his life. Don't lock in on him immediately. He's gonna do this, so it'll give us a chance to heal. Unlock, run around and build behind him. Lock. 
does something stupid like that. We hit him a couple times. He's gonna do that rowboating attack all the time. That annoys the crap out of me. But if you two hand and you stay to the right of his tail here, you're usually pretty safe. And that's the asylum. Yeah, he goes down pretty easy these days. I remember when I first played this game, how big of a challenge he he was, and how how much it got my heart racing. And yeah, because well, you got a good, lot of good tips, and you've seen me fight him a lot. But as long as a lot of the enemies, a lot of the big bosses are pretty much the same. If you stay around, yeah, if you just stay around behind them, and there's always a certain spot where they're they're attack boxes just don't reach like the Taurus demon is a good example of that uh, we're gonna skip this I need to get that up to 11 have 187 souls and now we're gonna first things first we are gonna make our suicide runs with zero humanity and you know very small number of souls that we don't mind losing I might be able to get away from this guy actually too because I've been able to roll consistently get better at rolling away from this first attack because if you pick up the items and you can't and you roll right out of the way before canceling the message, he will you can actually basically dodge his attack. Uh do we really want to get the S stock? Because nah, fuck it. Fuck the S stock. There's uh there's another soul here I should get before, because I'll probably die. We're actually going to get quite a good amount of leveling up here, almost immediately, because there's some really large value souls out here. This is where the master key comes in handy, lets you access certain points in the game that you wouldn't be able to otherwise access. Whee! And there's our undead dragon. He'll kill us in one hit. Good thing we're already dead. There's the soul of a proud knight. Picking that up won't activate him, but picking these up will. Oh, oh I made it! I made it! Oh, yeah, I made it. If you, yeah, if you're fast enough to roll out of the way, you'll make it. He actually, like, hit me, like, three times, too. I don't know how the fuck. <laughs> that was beautiful. No, um, it's because I dodged his actual swipe move. He got me on the backswing of the animation there. Wow. Okay, so she has a maximum equip of 49, which is, like, 12. This will put us up to 14, so I'll have to take that off. Yeah. So we're just going to be running around in pants for a while. One seventy-six immediately, and if you and it scales. This is the the what This is the best starting weapon. People are like, "Oh, you get the Drake sword," and I'm like, "Oh, fuck the Drake sword." Like, I don't even get it anymore. The only reason I get the Drake Sword is to feed it to France for souls. That's what you get the Great Sword, the, the uh, Drake Sword for. I think he gives you like 5,000 or something like that for it. It's not bad. He gives, uh, Framps gives you a lot of, uh, souls for the dragon items. Like the dragon, uh, Dragon King Great Hammer that you get from cutting off Gaping's tail. He only gives you one soul for the soul of smell. Which you, you can use it to make Smo's hammer, which is honestly like the worst strength weapon in the game.
going to run around picking up a couple of things here because we are headed next to the catacombs. Also going to need to get the homeward bones underneath the elevator. Uh, it takes a while to run around some of these areas, but yeah, I hear a lot of people. They sort of try. They they get. A lot, I get a lot of comparisons of this game with like Skyrim, and I just don't understand those at all. This game's way closer to like something like Metroid or Castlevania. Everything's interconnected. It's, it's much more realistic combat. This is more of a combat simulator. You know, this is like a, a medieval simulator more than a, an RPG. Because just just the sheer number of actions your character can take with with any any one of a multitude of weapons and even making them. If you hear anything in the background, that's George. He's here. He's playing Counter Strike. I don't know. It, it's a fi there's a 15 degree on this mic, so I don't know if it's coming through or not. Really, it could be really low in the background. So there's our home words. Yeah, they can hear that. Uh, Lloyd's Talisman. Uh, these are good against mimics. If you don't feel like fighting them, I usually do. So. Here we go. We're gonna just run it. We can get all the stuff that we can along the way. Yes. No, no camera, but the uh, it's recording what I'm doing on the game. Okay, we're gonna run through the catacombs here. Working knowledge of the catacombs is vitally important in this area. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, this is why you want the fire shield. Push this lever. Fucking run. Because there will be skeletons everywhere. This is why you need to have a 100% blocking shield. Okay, we're there. This is the first bridge. We jump, we roll. We make it. We run. We hide. We heal. Okay. Now, we gotta get the eyes of death behind this asshole. That's the first thing we gotta do. Hmm. Always stay to the right, always stay to the right. Yeah, motherfucker. Nestle in the coffin. And we're just gonna stay here for a minute. Whew, I've never gotten that on the first try. I did, I did the Gravelord sword run. I did the, uh, this, that's the suicide run. Normally I die three or four times doing that. First time I ever did that in first run. You can't really attack us in here, so we're safe. Yeah, as you can see his spear gone really close. Oh, he can attack us here. Oh, shit. But you gotta be 30 seconds. He hit me once, but I survived it. I was like, nah, he can't attack. Whoosh, what the fuck? 
did you have you didn't have eyes you didn't have eyes of death on you the eyes of death are the, the stone eyes you get from the curse lizards if you have one this will happen I well you can pick two it's three of them up behind the uh, the, the Titanite demon there so this is how you get a really powerful weapon and a really powerful spell pretty early on in the game. If you stick with the Gravelord Covenant, this spell will retain quite a lot of its power. But, uh, I just wanted to get Gravelord Sword Dance for the beginning of the game. Because I'm trying something new. This is actually the boss room where you gotta fight Gravelord Nito later. There's Gravelord Nito right there. That's one of the bosses in the game that you gotta fight right there. Oh, you can fight me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, entering the Covenant. <clears throat> I, be I beat him. He, he goes down real quick with fire weapons, but he has three normal skeletons with him and two giant skeletons in the back. Best idea is just to wait for him to come to you. Uh, so he gives you the Gravelord sword and, and a really badass miracle. So, I'm going to Homeward Bone back to Fireland, because that's the bonfire I rested at. Uh, you got to get, when you, you just talk to him, he's sitting there, and and when you use the grave, uh, the grave thing, if you need to get back, you can actually go the other way, but you can't kill him there. Uh, I only have one attunement slot right now, so now we're going to spend our souls. must be enthralling to watch. So these are the large souls. This is like the bigger souls you'll get in the beginning of the game for 400. And this is a soul of a proud knight comparatively. 2,000. So that's some really fast experience right there. Okay, one in attunement. So I get two attunement slots, that's what I need right now. And we're gonna buff strength. One more in endurance. Yeah, I can't even use it yet. So we're gonna stick with a store of straight sword. And now we're going to start the game proper. <laughs> yeah, that's all preparation for the main main hunt. So we're going to try doing a lot of parries just to get some extra souls here because we're still relatively low level. Come on. Oops. Shield gives me quite a bit of uh, defense against fire, too, which is nice in this area. I had a problem before in this game where, like, items and shit would automatically select and deselect. Ow, fucker. I'm not good for my timing today. You notice everything pretty much goes down with one swipe. This sword is extremely good. Like, now, I'm already doing 181 with my, uh... With this weapon. Base damage. Don't fucking poison me. God damn it. Fucking asshole. Good thing my poison gauge is stupid low. Fucking dickhole. Nah, it's okay. I just had, because I have no humanity in my gauge. So I'm just going to wait here for a while. Get these guys out. Poisoned or not. I'd probably get to the next bonfire before the poison fucking wears off.
Oxide. Alright. So, here's a bonfire. Yep, I was right. I still had like half that poison to go. Gotta start capping my faith up here. Because I need 10 more faith. Basically, I use the forward kick to handle those guys pretty quick. Because the forward kick just breaks their guard. Ah, shit. I want to get a critical on this asshole. There we go. 339 on my crits already. Sweet. Alright, that's all I need. One thousand four. Well, I try. <laughs> I need me that residence key. Thank you. Actually, do I need it? Yep, you have to go into the, uh, no, I don't need it. Don't you get the key to go into that one place, the one room, and down in the where you fight the cap or whatever? Yeah, I know, but I don't need that guy. I really don't. Mm, let's see here. No, I don't what need anything wasted. from you. Actually, yes, I do need something from you. <laughs> oh, one of these. As many of these as I can get. Thank you kindly. You want me to go up against, uh, you want me to fight the Black Knight right away? I don't know. Hehe. <laughs> because you can probably take him with the sword. Pretty easily. Pretty much. I still forgot to use Grave Lord, Grave Lord Dance. Alrighty. It's a good idea to just know where people are. So I'll always be in the same location. It's pretty easy to take out. I think there's some black fire bombs up here. Because I am going to go back and kill that undead dragon when I get to the parish. It's one of the first things I'm going to do once I activate the elevator. I'm also going to go back to the... Because uh, I need to get as much Twinkling Titanite as I can. Um, no, for, to, to do a store of swords, you need to update it with Twinkling Titanite. Uh, large Titanite doesn't do anything for it. Because it's a special weapon. There's, there's, yeah. Yeah, it depends on if I get a BK, if I get a BK Greatsword or a BK Halberd or a BK Sword, depending on how I'm going to start building my character up, because I like to build them specifically for that. Like, the, the Black Knight Greatsword is just awesome. But I really want to... Because this, this is a faith... Supposed to be a faith build. So, I'm going to try to back off on my strength. Drop dumping a bit. Because I am going to want to use the Halberd later. Yep, that's where it's at. I think it's at 17. Well, I need to get my fate up. Well, I want to use the Gravelord Sword, which requires, like, uh, at least 
23, something like that. It's a and that, that sword, if you go with strength build right off the bat, is so amazing. Alright, here we go. See if I can sneak up on this bastard. Maybe not. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. This guy always gives me, like, this guy still gets my heart going a little bit. You just gotta remember to drive. Oh! Drive your shield. I know. There we go. <laughs> no. I just want to bring it back up here so if he kills me, I can get my shit back. Depends on where your faith is at. Mine's not up high enough yet. Yeah, mine's not even at 20 yet. All right, he's done. And I did find a place where you can farm Titanite uh, chunks. It says on the game that you really can't. Um, I'm gonna go up here, kill the Crystal Lizard, and then we're gonna go get Havel's Ring. I'm gonna wait on bit on Havel's ring. We're gonna go fight the uh fight Mr. Tar's demon. Alright, let's do this. I've had a lot of people tell me this is the first boss that they really think is pretty tough. Yeah, you've seen how to do it. Uh, a lot of people try to stay away from it, like video game logic basically tells them. Video game logic basically tells you that uh, you should uh, you should stay you should stay as away from the big guy to watch what he does. But that's such a bad idea. I know, I know, but I'm explaining I'm explaining why he's hard for most people. Uh, video game logic di dictates that you really stay away from the boss to see what they do and, and do it that way. But you really got to stick close to the bosses in Dark Souls. Grave Lord sword, this guy only took two hits. Um, I don't have that sword. I can't use it, I don't have much strength to even two handed get. Yeah. Is that all you got? I like fighting him like this. It's fun. I just like fighting him one on one like that. I'll take the first hit like that, but I'll fight him the rest of the time like that. Eh. Nah. 
I still got this. And I still have humanities that I can use. Yep. Hey, how did I get one humanity? I haven't killed anything that gives me humanity yet. Because I killed all the enemies in a level. I think you get uh, humanity randomly sometimes. So I noticed that if I'm just sitting around sometimes in my humanity counter, once I kill all the enemies will go up. Ah, I love up now. I'm gonna talk to him twice and answer yes to both of his questions. Oh, I the way I in a it pleases our white serve stand. We're also gonna use him as a uh summon against the gargoyles. Anyway, our next goal should be to run. Just fucking run. where this is. It's right back here. We can actually use this area to farm souls. If you really need to, if you're playing offline, or if you just have the time to spare, I'll show you a neat little trick here. So we only need about 500 more souls to level up. We just run out, run back out, run downstairs. 555 souls, just like that. And then we jump off. Rest of the bonfire load. Somebody real quick. Now I believe this weapon is already outstripping, isn't it? Nope, 188. Still doesn't outstrip the Drake sword, but it's close. Okay, we have 20 faith, and I hopefully I can get one co-op match, and I might actually be able to uh, get on this a little bit earlier. Otherwise, I just beat Bell Tower Gargoyles and get the uh, Lightning Spear. I really don't want to beat them without the Lightning Spear, though. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed what was all my strength goes up like that. They drop the mass. When you hit them with the Lightning Spear, I'm just going to wait here for you, Mr. Dragon. Anytime you're ready. Anytime now. You can grab both those items. Though he will jump up and do that attack. Now this is where we normally get the uh, thing, but we don't have 20. You need 25 faith to get that. Now he's going to go flying on. Our next goal is going to be the great sword. Great Sword Black Knight up here. I don't even fight the boar anymore half the time. Stay slow. Stay slow. That way he's not turned around.
It's because she's fucking hollow. <laughs> it's a zombie, dude. What do you expect? Oh, damn. I am not doing well on those. I can get my backstabs in on him either way. I can probably parry and repost his dumb ass, too. But I don't know the timing. Actually, I should know the timing because I do have a strength character that uses the exact same weapon as him. Oh, fuck me. I guarded against that shit, too. Game. I'm all about that attack too. Nope, no great sword for me. Not in this playthrough anyway. I notice that anytime I do a strength play through, the game gives me the BK great sword right there. And that usually determines if I'm going to switch to his uh, strength build or not. So we're not even worried about this asshole right now. We'll take him out later. It's normally the basement key you would use to get to Havel. There's our halberd. Which I don't think does any more damage yet. No, I need 12 decks to use it. I need one more dexterity to use it. Boulders are pretty intimidating the first time you run into them, but they get pretty damn easy. Come on. In PC version, the enemies seem a little bit more tweaked. They seem to notice you from different areas. I would tell you, the PC version is actually a little bit harder than the P PS3 version. I've been playing the PS3 version a lot. Uh, some ways, this game is less forgiving, I noticed. Like, the enemy AI is better on the P uh, slightly better on the PC version. Uh, they notice you from different areas. Like, I can't use some of the same tricks that I use in the uh, PS3 version. Which is just interesting, I think. Anyway, there's one thing I wanted to get through this space. Mystery key, so he can let Mr. Law trek out and then kick him off the side of the kick him off the side of fire, Lincoln steal his ring. 
I ain't gonna leave him alive there because I need that fire bonfire later. It depends if you wanna if you when you get to Anne Orlando you feel like invading his world as a gameplay feature or not. I really don't care. I've done it, it's not really my thing. I don't think I, there was another Titanite shard around here somewhere. still works the same way. Come on. Oh, you fucking dick. Hold on. That makes this interesting. I really didn't want to die there. I was right next to the bonfire. I've done that before. So that makes this the first official death. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop recording and then...